Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Cody and welcome to the Outdoor Outpost in our first video. Here I will be bringing you everything from fishing to big game hunting to camping, hiking, backpacking and a lot more. But today I thought we'd start out by going over one of the main apps that I use to help me plan our fish trip, Fishing Spot. This app is really helpful in every sense of the word. It really covers everything a fisherman would need to plan out a trip and to make it the most successful that it can be. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, leave a comment, and let's jump into the video, guys. Alright, guys, yeah, so here we are. Here are, are the apps that I use. Um, if you're in Colorado, I definitely suggest downloading the CPW app. Um, Stands for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. It's a great app, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but today we're going to be going over Fishing Spot, so here we are. Once you download the app, sign up, make an account, and then you're good to go. Um, here are, is the feed. It works a lot like Twitter, from what I can tell. Um, it, I mean, bragging rights. That's very important. Your next area is going to be your forecast. This is where you can tell weather the fish forecast, as you can see. Um, we're going to go through this later and show you how it works and why it's so important. The next one's going to be your maps. So, how to use the maps. If you don't have any filters in, it's going to show you all the fish spots ar around you. If you go to the top right, you can change your map type, standard, satellite, hybrid, and then new layers. I usually don't touch any of those. I like hybrid, so there we are. Um, the species I'm going to be hunting for is largemouth bass. Um, if you don't want largemouth bass, though, let's delete that. You can go here, and then you can go through any species, or you can do a search. Okay? So once you've already searched an animal, clicked on it, it's going to be in your, in your, your recently used. So it, it's good to go after that. So let's click that. Let's hit done. And there we go. It's populated and we know exactly what we're going to be fishing for now and where all we can go. So let's find us a spot here. Let's do this. And then there's a place I was wanting to go. It's called Bear Creek. There we go. There she is. All right, so Bear Creek. All right, so here you can get all the different information, such as data source, station ID, latitude, longitude, United States. So yeah, let's let's do this. So let's go back to to forecast, and then we're going to do change, and this is where you can type in where you're going to go fishing. All right, so let's do Bear Creek. Search, and there we go, Bear Creek Lake. And we just hit done, and there we go. Now let's go through this. This is awesome stuff, guys. So right here. So let's say Saturday. That's when we're going to be fishing. It is going to be a really bad day to fish, guys. That's okay. Um, okay, here we go. So as you can see, this is going to show the forecast of the fish activity. So as you can see, Saturday night at seven to nine is going to be decent. Fishing eight is gonna be ideal. All right, guys. So looks like we're gonna be doing an evening fish, but that's okay. It it won't be as hot. So okay. On the seventh, here is gonna be your temperatures. All right. So there we go. It's not gonna be too humid, and then your barometric pressure. All right, guys. So we're gonna go through that really quick. Just a little cheat sheet. I will leave it in the description for you in case you don't understand how barometric pressure affects fishing. All right. So just a rule of thumb here. High pressure is going to be 30.5, okay? That's going to be when you have clear skies, and that's usually going to be medium to slow fishing, all right? So fish slow or really deep in the water, okay, or near to cover. Medium pressure is going to be 29.7 to 30.4. It's going to be about your fair weather. Normal fishing, guys. Just test your lures, baits, techniques. This is really the key chance to do that. And then low pressure is going to be 29.6 and below. That's cloudy, rainy. A weather and the fishing is going to be slow so fish again deep and next to cover and then when it, it comes into like rising pressure okay this is when weather is improving um, let's say after a storm or something the fish become slightly more active um, fish again deep and next to cover your stable pressure is going to be when it's just you know your normal basic day it's just going to be your normal you know, more fishing, so this is going to be the best time to test more of baits and techniques again. And then falling pressure, this is going to be when the storm is, com is coming in. This is the best fishing, guys. All right, guys, so here we are at 30.6. So as we just went over, this is going to be a basic, normal day, bare make pressure, so we're going to be fishing deep or next to cover, okay? So we have the plan there, and then we're just going to keep going down. This is the wind forecast on Saturday. It's going to be 
3.7 miles per hour blowing south southwest it's not gonna be that bad so that's awesome let's see how it's gonna be around the time that we're going to be fishing of around seven miles per hour so a little bit windy but not terrible we can fight fight through that all right guys next is gonna be your moon say or your moon phases um, this is an amazing amazingly interesting topic that I'm going to cover in a future video but for now I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to learn how the moon phases affect fishing okay so check the description for a link for that and then also the cheat sheet that I was talking about for the barometric pressure but um, yeah guys so here we are we're going to go Saturday um, evening 7 to 9 um, we're going to be fishing largemouth bass at Bear Creek in Colorado Springs so I'm I'm really excited guys so thanks for coming by the next video is going to be posted on Wednesday and this is where we're going to go with gear what gear I'm, I'm going to be taking depending on what fish so we're going bass fishing so we're going to be going over lures that I'm taking the fishing rod the reel um, why I'm going to be using a certain lure as we can tell by the app I need to fish deep or next to cover so we definitely need some deep water um, you know some Texas rigs it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun guys I'm super excited about this but all right guys I hope you learned something uh, thanks for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon and turn on notifications to sure that you don't miss a video um, like the video if you found it helpful and leave a comment of what you did did like about it if you didn't you know what to do guys hit that thumbs down and leave a comment again with suggestions on how I can improve the content either one is a is really appreciated guys because it helps me bring you guys better content in the future and again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one